Hey guys, hopefully I can keep this short, sweet, and informative. So the update that launched with Season of the Worthy, Destiny Update 2.8.0, saw huge changes to how swords work in the game. While I won't be covering the changes in depth, we'll go over how those changes changed to the pre-existing sword perks for the worse. All swords in the video will be adaptive frame and all PvE damage will be done on the Menagerie Ogre Tribute. I'm not going to bore you with exact percentages, but if you want those, the numbers will be in the description below. The first perk we'll be covering is Shattering Blade. Shattering Blade says if your heavy attack consumes the last of your ammo, it deals significantly increased damage, and that excludes aerial attack. Now I myself don't have a Shattering Blade sword, so my good buddy Lowlife did a few damage tests for me. You can see that a fully charged heavy attack does 11,660 base damage, plus 4 ticks of 7,045 for a total damage of 39,840. When activating Shattering Blade while fully charged, you can see you keep the 11,660 base damage, but those 4 smaller damage numbers bump up to 11,632 for a total of 58,152. Now, a non-fully charged, regular heavy attack will do a measly 13,992 damage against the Ogre. If we apply the same increase we got with Shattering Blade to this attack, we should expect to do about 20,300 in damage. Let's see what happens. The damage doesn't change. What this means is Shattering Blade doesn't proc at all if the sword is not fully charged. That means if you've used a heavy attack or guarded in the last few seconds, Shattering Blade doesn't work at all, and if you use swords as much as I do, you can see how that would be a problem. The fact that there's a chance that this perk might not work at all, even when you use it on the last bit of ammo, means there's a serious issue with this perk and it's borderline useless in this new meta. Hey, sorry if you guys can hear my cat purring in the background, but... It's clear to me that Bungie did their job with adjusting Black Talon's perk, Crow's Wings, to be more in line with the heavy attacks of other swords in the game. The issue for me is that they seem to not have really considered the masterwork perk of Black Talon, Reversal. What Reversal does is increases the damage of Crow's Wings for damage blocked immediately after guarding with Black Talon. Now I've gone and timed it, and it seems like the maximum duration between starting your guard and taking damage to proc reversal is about half a second. Afterwards, reversal will stay active for two seconds. Now, doing a little more damage testing, you can see that a fully charged Black Talon Crow's Wing attack does two ticks of 16,650 damage for a total of 33,300 damage. An uncharged Crow's Wing attack does 11,100 damage, one third the damage of a fully charged shot. Proccing reversal by taking damage within half a second of starting your guard will give you two seconds of increased damage on those crow's wing shots. You can see in the clip that reversal increases my damage to 16,733, but it's only one tick, and that makes it less damage than a fully charged non-reversal shot. See, proccing reversal requires you to use your guard Using your guard depletes your energy. Depleting your energy lowers the damage of crow's wings. However, it is still possible to get the full damage of a reversal crow's wing shot. Reversal lasts for two seconds, and after a guard from full charge, it takes about a second and a half to get your energy fully back, which means you have about a half second window to get off a fully charged reversal shot. You can see here in this clip that the damage increase is extraordinary. You get two ticks of 24,975 for a total of 49,950 damage. You can see how trying to manage the timing between guarding, proccing reversal, and firing your Black Talon Crow's Wing shot for maximum damage can be a little bit challenging and almost seems unintended. I've done a lot of testing in PvE and PvP, and some of these clips you can see that in PvP, Black Talon's still great. It does 456 for a charged Crow's Wing shot. Uncharged is 152. That will never kill. You can't spam Black Talon shots in PvP, unfortunately. However, if you do proc reversal at all, if it's charged or uncharged, it'll kill pretty much any Guardian. I only discovered this issue while masterworking my second account's Black Talon. 
I noticed when I was trying to farm Thrall, they weren't really dying to single shots of spam curse wing shots. And honestly, on majors and above, proccing reversal doesn't really matter if you're spamming shots. Crow's wings used to be much more viable in PvE for spamming shots against red bars, no matter the enemy type. Um, it's seen a significant nerf after the energy changes, and hopefully we can get some tuning to reversal to make it work better with these new sword changes. Overall, I love the way swords work now, I just think we need to take a look at Shattering Blade and Reversal. Hey, if you guys find any other issues with the swords, feel free to let me know. Alright, just got one more tiny clip for you. I'm not here to bash titans or anything, but if you can tell me what happens with my friend's Antaeus wards here, it looks like the melee procs Antaeus wards, and according to him, that's what happened. If you look in the kill feed, you can see that the auto rifle is what killed the enemy. Um, if you have any critiques for me, if I were to do any more videos, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Um, feel free to tell me I'm stupid, doesn't matter. Um, love this game, hopefully we can get things working. This is my first time editing a video for YouTube, and wow, I can understand how this is a full-time job for people. Um, shout out to all the great YouTubers, shout out to my clan who helped me out with this, Low Life, Krishna, Shmoobly, Dion, and Koopo for helping me test things out. Um, if anybody's down to 1v1, I'm not very good, but I'm always going to accept the challenge. You can find my gamer tags down below. I play on all four platforms, baby. Alright, see you next time.